before classes were in session, until long after final exams. More than 200,000 women took to the courts, the pools, the mats, and the fields to compete. These are the best of the best. 12 unsurpassed athletes from across the nation and around the globe, each a symbol for her school and the standard in her sports. They gather here tonight where one will raise the Honda Cup, the highest honor in women's college athletics. Center on the campus of the University of Southern California. Welcome to the 2015 Collegiate Women's Sports Awards presented by Honda. Please welcome our hosts, Brett Stover and Allie LaForce. This is a monumental night in college sports. It's the one special evening when we get to see the best of the best all in one place. And now it's my pleasure to introduce the Honda Division Three Athlete of the Year. Allison Fournier. It's time to introduce the Honda Division II Athlete of the Year, Rachel Dickinson. It's been a busy day for the class of 2015. The honorees woke up early this morning and journeyed to the Orthopedic Institute for Children in downtown Los Angeles for an outreach huddle. After signing autographs for patients and local youth groups and sharing their inspiring student athlete experiences, it was off to the annual celebration luncheon, which featured the traditions of the Winner's Grand March and Honda Award alumni toast for the class of 2015. Imani McGee Stafford of the University of Texas came back from a leg injury to lead the Longhorns in blocks and field goal percentage en route to earning all Big 12 honors. But beneath it all, Imani was facing a profound struggle that far transcended sports. I had like all these accomplishments and it just felt like I still wasn't happy. I didn't know what was wrong. I just knew something was wrong. And I kind of felt like people got sick of hearing that you aren't happy. It was as if my heart was ripped from my chest, what added a level of, uh, I think, emotional weight for me, that she didn't want to do anything about it. In fact, she insisted that we don't even say anything. I'm her daddy, and I'm, I was supposed to protect her. <laughs> the girl who had lost her voice found a way to speak louder than she ever imagined. Learning what love truly feels like will be a difficult process. It will mean unlearning the abuse that has tricked you for years, unbearing your heart and trusting. This has never come easy for you, but I promise you are up for the challenge. The 2015 Honda Inspiration Award winner, Imani McGee Stafford. I'm just excited to know that I'm helping somebody that I just hope that in, it, there's a girl out there like me and that can look up to me and say, like, if she can do it, I can. Now time to meet the Honda honorees for the fall season. Sam Mewis, Soccer, UCLA. Kate Avery, Cross Country, Iona. Paula Hooser, Field Hockey, Albany. Krista Van Sant, Volleyball, Washington. Well, let's take a look at this year's winter season Honda honorees. Missy Franklin, Swimming and Diving, California. Brianna Stewart, Basketball, UConn. Kitra Hunter, Gymnastics, Florida. Now it's time to meet our final group of Honda Cup honorees, five unparalleled athletes who ruled the spring. Robin Anderson, Tennis, UCLA. Emma Talley, Golf, Alabama. Taylor Cummings, Lacrosse, Maryland. Laura
Lauren Hager. Softball, Florida. Jenna Prandini, track, Oregon. Three will be chosen as finalists for the most celebrated award in women's college athletics. The announcement of the Honda Cup top three is next on the CBS Sports Spectacular. Our list of 12 honorees is about to be narrowed down to three. This year's Honda Cup top three are in my hand in this red envelope. From the University of California, swimmer Missy Franklin. From the University of Florida, softballs Lauren Hager. And for the second straight year from the University of Connecticut, basketball's Brianna Stewart. Now it's time to announce tonight's winner, the best of the best of college athletics, your 2015 Honda Cup recipient. Missy Franklin, University of California. Thinking about all the sacrifices that other people have made for me to be where I am today and just the fact that I have the opportunity every single morning to wake up and be better than I already am and I know so many people have had to change their dreams or give up on them and make those sacrifices for others so the fact that I still have that every single day I get to get up and try and go to the pool and and fight and just doing that and appreciating that and being grateful for that opportunity. Well, congratulations again and good luck for what's next. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what a night. That'll do it from the Galen Center at the University of Southern California and the 2015 Collegiate Women's Sports Award Show presented by Honda.